I wish to tell you today that although there is much to be sad about, there is also much to be celebrated. You are watching what is a pivotal moment in this country's evolution. You're watching society change in a deeply important way. This change will be slow and we will have to be patient, but change will happen and it will be for the better. In rewriting my speech, I asked myself how I viewed racism in America as it relates to graduation. When I looked past the rage that I feel about the systemic oppression and physical and emotional violence that has tortured the black community endlessly, my mind turned to nature. When I think about racism in America, I imagine a broad forest filled densely with tall trees. Trees as old as this country itself. Trees that were planted with racist seeds. Trees that grew prejudiced branches and oppressive leaves and mangled roots that buried and entrenched themselves deep within the soil, forming a web so well-developed and so entangled that pushes back when we try to look clearly at how it really works. This forest is where we live. It's who we are. It's the morals and value system that we as a society have upheld and emboldened for centuries. I make this analog between racism and nature in this country because it's as pervasive and as real as nature. It is some part of everything the light touches. But in this moment, all of us are being invited to challenge that system and think about how to affect real change. I believe in my heart that the people who are going to make this change happen are listening to me speak right now. I know this is true because it is you who are the seeds of the future. You are the seeds that will grow into a new and different forest that is far more beautiful and loving than the one we live in today.